Hi, and today we are going to study the concept of one dimensional steady state heat conduction through a hollow cylinder. So, one dimensional steady state heat conduction through a hollow cylinder. Now, suppose we have a cylinder in this form. Let's say that R1 is the inner radius, R2 is the outer radius and the fluid is flowing through this tube at the temperature T1 and the surrounding temperature is T2. Let's assume that T1 is greater than T2. Now according to the Fourier's law of heat of conduction, we know Q is equal to negative Ka dt by dx where q is the rate of heat transfer in watt or joule per second k is the thermal conductivity of this pipe a is the surface area of this pipe so for the cylinder this equation can be written as q is equal to negative k a dt by dr so rearranging we can write this equation as Q by A dr is equal to negative k dt. Now integrating this equation, integrating this equation we get Q by A from R1 to R2 dr is equal to negative k integration from T1 to T2 dt. Now the heat is going to transfer along the surface of this cylinder so here a is the surface area of cylinder which is equal to 2 pi r times the length of the cylinder so q upon 2 pi r l dr integration from r1 to r2 is equal to k t1 minus t2 <coughs> so q is constant 2 pi l is constant integration from r1 to r2 dr by r <coughs> which is equal to k times t1 minus t2 so q upon 2 pi l times ln r from r1 to r2 is equal to k times t1 minus t2 since integration of f dash x upon f of x is log of f of x so q upon 2 pi l times ln of r2 minus ln of r1 is equal to k times t1 minus t2 so we can write this equation as q upon 2 pi l times ln of r2 by r1 is equal to k times t1 minus t2 so we can write this equation as q is equal to 2 pi l k t1 minus t2 divided by ln of r2 by r1 and now we know that according to the ohm's law v is equal to i times r let's say this is our equation number one this is our equation number two so we can write this equation as v by r is equal to i here v is the potential difference so if we compare these two e equations we can write this equation as q is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by ln of r2 by r1 upon 2 pi l times k so this term is the thermal resistance let's call this our equation number three Now, now we know that the thermal resistance for the hollow cylinder is equal to ln of R2 by R1 divided by 2 pi LK. So multiplying this equation and dividing this equation by R2 minus R1, multiplying 
and dividing this equation by r2 minus r1 we get r thermal is equal to ln of r2 by r1 multiplied by r2 minus r1 upon 2 pi lk r2 minus r1 so this can be rewritten as r2 minus r1 upon 2 pi lk r2 minus r1 divided by ln of r2 by r1 now we can write this equation as r2 minus r1 divided by k times 2 pi l r2 minus 2 pi l r1 upon ln of 2 pi l r2 divided by 2 pi l r1 so this equation becomes r2 minus r1 divided by k times a2 minus a1 upon ln of a2 by a1 so this term can be written as r2 minus r1 divided by k times the logarithmic mean area alm so let's call this our equation number four now what if we want to determine the temperature at any distance r so we know the equation q is equal to 2 pi l k 2 pi l k it is t1 minus t2 up all ln of r2 by r1 which is equal to 2 pi l k t1 minus t divided by ln of r upon r1 so we can equate this equation so after equating we get t1 minus t2 divided by ln of r2 by r1 which is equal to t1 minus t divided by ln of r by r1 so from this equation it is clear that the temperature the distribution for hollow cylinder is logarithmic now let's work on a problem to get the deep understanding of this concept so here we have a question a thick wall cylinder tubing of hard rubber having an inside radius of 5 millimeters and an outside radius of 20 millimeters is being used as a temporary cooling coil in a bath. Ice water is flowing rapidly inside and the inside wall temperature is 274.9 Kelvin. The outside surface temperature is 297.1 Kelvin. A total of 14.65 Watt must be removed from the bath by the cooling coil. How many meters of tubing are required? So first let's draw the diagram of this equation this question so here we have a hollow cylinder the inner radius r1 is 5 millimeters the outside radius r2 is 20 millimeters and the inner temperature is 274.9 kelvin and the outer temperature is 297.1 Kelvin so as the temperature at the outside is greater than the temperature at inside the heat will flow from outside to inside now we have to calculate the length of this cylinder and now we know the basic equation Q is equal to 2 pi LK T1 minus T2 upon ln of R2 by R1 and now q is 14.65 watts which is equal to 2 pi l times the thermal conductivity here is 0 0.151 watt per meter kelvin times 297.1 minus 274.9 
divided by ln of 20 by 5. So let me take out my calculator. So 14.65 which is equal to 2 times 3.14 times the length times the thermal conductivity 0 0.151 times 297.1 minus 274.9 divided by ln of 20 by 5 and here we go so the length of this so the length of required hollow cylinder is 0 0.964 meters so thank you for watching this video